it the second time the National Primary Health Care Development Agency is meeting Muslim scholars and imams over the vaccination exercise for COVID-19 vaccine. This time it's to clear the air around the safety of the vaccines. The European Medicines Agency clearly finalized their investigation and came out with a report yesterday that it is safe to take AstraZeneca and that there has been no cause and effect relationship between vaccination with AstraZeneca and the blood clotting disorders. We are gathered here today to reassure ourselves and to reassure the public that the vaccine we have been using is safe and useful. Then the President General of the Nigerian Supreme Council of Islamic Affairs speaks on the Council's support for the vaccine. However, there is a caveat. Like I said, my last opening remark is left for you to want to take the vaccine because we will not force you in the sense that when you are hiding in your houses, you will not even come to your house, we won't see you. We only advise you, we only try to appeal to you like we did with the polio vaccine decades ago and today we are polio free. Chairman of the Presidential Task Force on COVID-19, Mr. Boss Mustafa, however, announces the commencement of vaccination for religious and traditional leaders. Let me assure His Eminence, the Sultan of Sokoto, that uh, we are working on getting all political and strategic leadership to take the vaccines, and that includes our religious leaders and traditional institutions. Therefore, I commend it to all eligible Nigerians to do so, so that we can be protected from this virus. Since taking delivery of the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccines in March, Nigerians have been asking questions on the genuineness and effectiveness of the vaccines. Some are asking if it can change one's DNA or whether there are adverse effects from the vaccines. These are questions that the government hopes that this meeting with traditional and religious leaders would address. Emperor Simon, Channels Television News.